Grandpa's Burger Haven, 1953. Number one in the big, big bun. Hey guys, Harry here. All right, so today I'm back with you guys with another video. And today we're at Grandpa's Burger Haven. So I ran across this place actually on Instagram. Somebody shared it. I liked it and I figured why not give it a shot. So as you guys know, I love food, burgers, tacos. It's a, actually a mom and pops type of place. They're known for their six inch burgers. I was told they're pretty big and they also have a four inch burger. It's small, you can't dine in, you pretty much order at the window, you wait in your car, or you wait inside standing, and then they call your order over a microphone. Number 24, 24. They also have ice cream. Now it's not custard ice cream, but it's ice cream. And it's pretty hot here today in Colorado. And I have a sweater on today. <laughs> Don't know why I do, but I do. There's actually low riders here today. Everybody's out today. There's motorcycles in the parking lot. I mean, I don't blame them. It's beautiful. It's Colorado. It's summertime. So enough talking and let's get to it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna call the next order out. Let's see how I do. What order number is it? Still looking for number 24. Okay, so he calls out the orders. He's the owner. They were nice enough to let me come in here. All right, I'm gonna call the order. Call number 24. Number 24. 24. Good? And that'll be your daughter? <laughs> Alright, let's go eat. Alright guys, Harry here, and yes, there's a dumpster behind me. Alright, so the, the sun's going over right now. It's a little too sunny over there. I found a nice spot here to do the food review. A lot of the people left in the parking lot. There was music playing, so I kind of had to wait. Food's a little cold. You might notice that this visual looks different from the ones in the beginning. I'm using a different camera. Hope you guys like it. Let me know. Does the focus look good? Does it look clear? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so we're right off the main road, so you're gonna hear cars noise, but we're gonna get right to it. So I got me the burger, right? It's a little soggy right now because it's been sitting for a few minutes. Yes, honey. I got me a shake also and some fries. I'm gonna do another video on the other sandwiches next time, but for now we're doing a burger review, a fry review, and a vanilla shake review. I'm gonna get the vanilla shake after I eat though. <laughs> Ooh, all right, let's take a bite. Mmm.
crispy. The bun's a little soggy right now, excuse me, but it's because it's been sitting for about 15 minutes. And you might ask, why was it sitting for 15 minutes? Well, I had to set up my, my stand, my camera stand. I had to get the camera, set it up. So it took a little while. So I have lettuce, tomato. I didn't get no mayonnaise, but it comes with mayonnaise, ketchup. Uh, I didn't get pickles, but I got onion. Now, some like grilled onions, some like them raw. I like them either or, depending what kind of mood I'm in. Right now, they're raw. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think about the dumpster right there? I really don't mind it, but I know in the comments below, I'm gonna hear something about this dumpster. Why is there a dumpster in the background? Well, folks, it's too sunny over there, so I had to do it here. This is like the only spot where I found shade. And honestly, I'm enjoying it. Just as much as I'm enjoying this burger here. Oh. This is a six inch burger. I already ate almost half of it, but it's about the size of my hand. Now this is what you call beef. This is beef, folks. You can taste the beefiness, mm, the onions, the mustard. Something about the mustard just sets it over the top. Mmm. So good. So good. So I did a Q&A recently, right? I picked 10 questions, and I'm gonna answer them throughout this. So we're gonna just go with question number one, all right? Randomly picked them, honestly. I wrote them down, and I'm gonna answer them. All right, first question. We need merch, Harry. Okay, as far as merch, I do plan on making a shirt soon. I'm not gonna say when, but soon. And I'll wear it here on my YouTube channel sometime in the next month or two. And I'll leave a link below, and if you guys are interested, feel free and cop a Harry shirt. Now, let me know also in the comments below <laughs> if you would uh, purchase a Harry shirt. Question number two. Will I ever move to Nashville to see Baby Girl? We all know who Baby Girl is. Libby. All right, so I just moved to Colorado three years ago. I don't want to leave too soon. Uh, I will visit though. I've been there once so far, but I do plan on going back. So moving, no, but visiting, yes. Now, how did I meet Chelsea, Libby, and the crew? I met them through a mutual friend, and then Libby and I start, started talking, and we got cool, and the next thing you know, now we're here. Fast forward two years later. It's crazy how time flies. Like, it feels like it was just yesterday, honestly. All right, we're gonna do one more. And I'm not rushing this. You know, I'm just, I have 10 questions to answer, so I wanna answer them thoroughly. Should I quit my job and sell feet pics? Now this is a question, obviously, not me. Somebody asked me if they should quit their job and sell feet pics. I say, hey, if you're making enough money to quit your job, boo-boo, you quit your job and sell feet pics. I mean, you gotta make money somehow, right? And I personally don't knock anybody's hustle or a woman's hustle. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's see if you guys can see it. The owner gave me this pin. He gave me this Grandpa's Burger pin. Can you guys see? I'll show it at the end of the video so you guys can see good. Right now I'm breaking my neck. Look how I look. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna ask, we're actually gonna do one more question. I'm gonna answer then we're gonna get back to the food, okay? Are you going to the cruise? Honestly, it was an 80% chance that I was gonna go. Now it's like a 50-50 due to work, and honestly, I haven't even looked to see if they're sold out yet. So, I honestly don't know. I'm hoping to go, and if I don't go, whoever goes, I'm jelly, I'm jealous, because I'm sure it's gonna be a badass time, and I'll be jealous, but if you guys are planning on going and haven't bought your ticket, I suggest you buy them before they sell out. Speaking of selling out, I'm surprised this place hasn't sold out, because earlier there was a line I didn't get to record, but it took me about 40 minutes to get my food. Now it is Sunday, right? 
people are off, it's beautiful, so of course it's gonna be a little busier than normal. But I like how you just park up, get out your car, walk into place, you order, you wait in your car, they call your number, pick it up and you go. Or you could just eat it outside like me, whoa. All right, it's soggy because it didn't get eaten right away, folks. All right, let's take another bite. I will say, it does pass the test, my taste bud test. Let's see if these pass my taste bud test. Fries, nice and golden, right? Let's, let's look at these fries before I take a bite. Nice and golden. Love a golden fry. <laughs> Hate a soggy fry. Let's test out this fry. Come to Papa. Come, come. He might say, where's the ketchup? I should have got some ketchup packets. Don't worry, we got a little ketchup on this blunt here. garbage can in the back, the dumpster. I mean, you gotta make it work, right? You gotta do what it do and make it work and ride with the waves, baby. Fries are good. A little cold, but they're cold because they were, they were fresh about 20 minutes ago, but since I had to set up, they're cold. They're good. That's me, how I would look if I rode a motorcycle which never have created a motorcycle ever. Don't think I ever will because that's a casket on wheels in my opinion. And I don't want to go out that way. I don't want to go out that way on a motorcycle. So motorcycles, no for me, <laughs> but I'll say yes to skydiving <laughs> or bungee jumping. You can still go that way too. Good, but getting colder by the minute. and you're questioning, Harry, where's your Coca-Cola at? Let's do that again. Harry, where's your Coca-Cola at? fountain drink. Very good. Very good. <laughs> alright, we're gonna move on to the next questions, alright? Because I know you don't have all day. Look at this beautiful day, though. Can't really see the background, but it's beautiful. Alright, another question we got here. Do you have any phobias? Uh, I thought about it. Not really. I don't like tarantulas. I think what it is about tarantulas, for me at least, is that they have hairy and, you know, hairy, furry little arms and weird looking face. It's kind of weird. 
I would say heights, but I've been pretty high up and I was okay. So I want to say tarantulas is a phobia of mine. Uh, some people have phobias with snakes. I have a friend of mine that had a phobia, well, has a phobia with snakes, and we pranked him with a snake once, and he damn near flipped out. They did it to, also to a girl in high school, and she started crying. So that wasn't nice, but there are people out there with phobias of snakes. Do you guys have any phobias? I'm curious to know. Let's move on. Do your parents love and accept Libby as your friend or girlfriend? Oh, they do. My parents are very, uh, very humble. They pretty much, you know, they treat everybody nice, like how they would want to be treated. But yeah, they treat her like anybody else with respect and they're very sweet to her. I'm sure she would say the same thing about my parents. They're very sweet. I don't think it really matters because why would they think anything bad in the first place, you know? Because um, she's white. I mean, no. I have friends that are black. I have friends that are Mexican. I have friends that are white. As far as her being like heavier size, no, she's a human being at the end of the day with the heart. Um, but yeah, they don't think anything bad. I think if anything, they think she's funny because they've seen some of her stuff. Uh, they like her humor. They think she's a really good person. Have you gotten used to your hair? Uh, yes, I want to say I have. I got in used to it right away, honestly. It feels free. I don't have to put it in a ponytail. Oh, I can pull it like that. Oh, yeah, it just feels free to not have to do too much. And I got used to it pretty quick. Next question. I know you're a foodie. What are your thoughts on incorporating food with sexy time? In other words, bringing food to the bedroom. I mean, it's a free world. If that's what you're into, I suggest go with Bull Whip. <laughs> but it is messy. Now, if you want to spice things up and you guys are okay with getting messy, I suggest put some garbage bags on the bed or something. You don't want it to get too messy. But if you're into that, hey, do what you got to do to have a good time. What do I love most about Libby? All right. I knew I was going to get a lot of questions regarding Libby, but she's a good person. She ain't selfish. She's funny. Uh, she makes fun of herself, like she laughs at stuff she says or does. I think it takes a different type of humor from somebody to laugh at your own like flaws and embrace it. So that's a good quality. Um, she's very thoughtful. She has a weird sense of humor, but it's funny. Um, but yeah, she's a great person overall. All right, we're gonna save. I think I have two more questions to answer, but we're gonna save him while I eat this burger. Look, I'm already full. Wait, which way? This way. Look how much left I got. It's about the size of my palm. Mm. It reminds me almost of a smash burger. I love a smash burger because they cook fast, but it reminds me of an oversized smash burger. Crispy. Even though it's been sitting for a little while, the beef is still crispy. I'm all about crispy, folks. Crispy fries, crispy chicken, crispy burger. Love crispy. Mmm. I don't know if you guys can see. Crispiness of it. Ready? Mm -hmm. See, to me, that's the real way you taste beef. Take a piece from whatever you're, from a burger, you take a little piece taco and you try it by itself if the beef is good with nothing on it that's good beef and this is very very good beef i will definitely be back that's for sure but you know what i'm craving some dessert 
after this gulp of hope, we're gonna go get our vanilla shake. And we're gonna try that. Vanilla, how I like it. All right, let's give it a good old taste test first. Mm. Mm. If you haven't tried this yet, I suggest you try it sometime. Oh, she's creamy, all right. Nice and creamy, creamy. Nice and creamy. Mm. Number two and number three. I love that speaker, something about it. It's just kind of like old school. I know if I had a restaurant, I would have an intercom speaker like that. Number 26, number 26. Number 32, I'm coming for you. Number four, come through that door. Number five, we have a surprise. I would do stuff like that. Mm. Or Harry's car wash. Number 33, this car wash ain't free. <laughs> That's so corny. Number 21, you come to the right place for fun. <laughs> I think I'm getting brain freeze here, guys. I feel a little, whoa! <laughs> mm. Ready? You want some? Ready? Open? You want some? All right, open, here, ready? How was that? I, I know it was good. Who are you kidding? Mm. Mm. 10 out of 10 on the shake. She's creamy, she's cold, she's good and tasty on my palate. All right, guys, overall, the burger was good. It was thin, but it was very crispy. I'll definitely be back. And shout out to the owner for letting me go back there and call the next order. Burger, weather, my new camera. It's just a beautiful day, guys. And with that, we're gonna end this video. And thank you guys for rocking with Harry. I'll see y'all next time, shawty. Peace. <laughs> I might as well throw the garbage out in the dumpster since it was in the video the whole time.